guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another unboxing, unbegging video. We have another diamond painting from Fan Cells. This is 641246. I think I know what this one is. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. I think I know what this is. So let's see. I'm excited. I'm trying to pull these open instead of using the scissors because the paintings come so high up to the front. I'm really afraid that I'll cut them if I use the scissors. Here we go. Let's get this out. Super excited. I like unboxing days. Right. Oh, ooh. bonus points for putting them in baggies. You guys, I can't tell you how much I love when they're pre-bagged for me. That's two from Fan Cells so far that were pre-bagged. Thank you, Fan Cells. All right. Here we go. Yes, this is what I thought it was. It's the kitty cat looking at the squirrel through the door. And my camera is not focusing on it. It's number A4441, 30 by 40 centimeters. And let's take a look at this. Oh, look, the boat is in here. The uh, toolkit. Standard toolkit, you guys. Green boat, red wax, pink pen. All right. Ah, I'm so happy with this. Look how cute. Let me fix this if I can. Oops, it's stuck. I don't know if this makes it worse or better. What do you guys think? I think it might be making it worse. I think I'm making the creases in more. But the creases do come out when you leave them out under heavy stuff like books. And there is my cat. And my squirrel. Go cute. So you guys know by now, if you watch this channel, how much I love animals in nature. So when I saw this, I had to have it, even though I, um, I think I bought six diamond paintings in this order and I really only wanted two. Like, not that I only wanted two. I want like 10 million, obviously, but I only intended to buy two. I wanted an Easter one and I wanted, um, a fantasy one. And then I saw all these other ones that I just had to have. So yeah. And they were really good prices. So before we get into this, did I say this already? I'm so confused now. This has 23 colors, and the symbols are all alphabet letters, but they're not in order. The A is down here. Starts with H, ends in I. But I love when they're alphabet letters. And we already have the color numbers. I probably already said this. I'm very confused now, because I'm recording a lot of openings back to back. So let's take a look at the drill field, if my camera would focus. Looks pretty good to me. But it's hard to know until you're doing it. The A's kind of look blurry, but I don't know if it's just my eyes or the camera. But you can tell that they're A's. Okay, with just my eyes and my glasses on, the A's look fine. Okay, yeah, the camera just wasn't um, focusing. So yeah, the drill feel looks absolutely fine. And let's see how sticky it is. I don't know why I bother with this, because I can't tell anything. Other than, yes, it's sticky. But by just doing it with my finger, I can't tell if it's going to be a good enough stick or not. I can just tell that, yes, it is sticky. But look how cute that is. Like, so, you guys, I love squirrels. I do love cats, but I can't have cats. I can only have my little fake cat that I've had since I was about 18 years old. Because I'm allergic to animals. Um, I wasn't allowed to have animals growing up, but I always smuggled them in. I had, like, hamsters in my closet, gerbils in my closet. And they're nocturnal, and I check with the vet first. And I have a big, big closet that has big shelves in it and uh, they were fine so there's a lot of air <laughs> so I think I had a hamster and a gerbil for about six months before my mother found out and she would have never found out except for when I was about nine or ten I baked her a cake and then I brought the bowl up because I wanted to eat the icing in my room like the leftover icing in the bowl and it was bright pink and then I never brought the bowl down so she came up to look for the bowl, and that's how she found the hamster and the gerbil in my closet, and was not a happy camper. 
But anyway, it wasn't until I was grown up and on my own that I was able to get a dog and I have had poodles. So I'm not allergic to poodles, except for if they lick me. The female uh, saliva makes me break out in hives, but not the males. But every other dog I can't be around. And it has to be a purebred poodle because I, uh, I tried going near a labradoodle. It was gorgeous, but I got sick. So, yeah. So I love animals, and I guess because I could never have animals, I just have always had a thing for animals. So I've always fed the squirrels and the birds. And when I saw this, this looks so much like the squirrels when they're looking at me when I'm feeding them. And I just thought it was adorable, and I had to get it. So, my bird and my squirrel. I mean, not my bird and my squirrel, my cat and my squirrel. So let's take a look at the colors. And I think I'm just going to show you through the bag, because it's a real pain to take these out. But you can kind of see all the colors if I hold them up close. So we have a beige and a very pretty blue. Um, I think that probably belongs in this area. And some brown. There's going to be a lot of dark colors here at the bottom where things are in shadow and into the cat. But that's okay. And yeah, you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five. Five really dark colors. And there's some pretty oranges, a yellow, some green, some gray, and some white. A pretty teal. So it's going to be heavy in the greens on the top, heavy in the rusty browns and the yellows, and then the white and then the dark colors at the bottom. This is a very, to me, fall colors. But squirrels remind me of spring. I don't know why, because they're there all year round. But I liked it, and I had to get it because I love animals so much. And I find for this size painting, for a 30 by 40, you're better off getting something where there's something big in the foreground and then maybe a little bit of detail in the back. That seems to work out best for these size paintings. Nothing with a lot of heavy detail. Like if there were like five cats and three squirrels, it wouldn't look good. But I think with the one cat and the one squirrel, it's going to be fine. And then framed through the window. I think that's going to be just fine. But we'll see when I do it. All right, guys. So that is it for this painting. Let me know what you think. Um, leave a thumbs up if you like it. Let it, let me, um, hear your comments. Have you tried this one? What do you think of fan cells? They're, they're a budget painting site. I really like them so far. I have had a few issues with only a few paintings, but every other one has been great. So I'm just going to keep buying from them because so far they are the cheapest that I found, except for when Amazon is having their big sales. So yeah, they do take a long time to come in and then you forget what you ordered, but that adds to the surprise. At least took about a month to come in. All right, again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly of all, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.